Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Leviathan of the Vo Leviathan of the Swar- <laughs> Whatever this mod is called. <laughs> Heart of the Leviathan edition. Um, something to do with making- Leviathan crew mod, there we go. People wanted to go to Xeris. Because usually, Xeris kind of invalidates the game, right? You get Primal Kerrigan, everything gets a little bit freaky deaky, and then you just blow everything in the universe up. However, we don't get that here. Instead, we get a third uh, bar of passives, and people are interested in seeing what that... We've unselected... Are you just lying to me again, Isha? I hate you, Isha. You're a bad friend. <laughs> How dare you do this? All right, so this is actually going to be fairly interesting. I have a couple ideas here. Uh, not for this mission specifically. Obviously, I want to see how good the Mutalisk is. I think that we're going to go Mutt Mutts here and then utilize Zergling Reconstitution to uh, play with like 20 Zerglings or so that will be constantly reconstituting with their upgrades, which will be really cool. So this is the Ancient One. But then I was thinking, and I have a real... Oh. Die. Thank you. I don't really want to use Broken Horn on this mission. I think he's going to have a bad day. No, we have a ton of biomass. It's fine. We're not going to send him against Brack, though. <laughs> He'll have a really bad time if he goes against Brack. Uh, we got our little stalker friends. We got these guys. Going to have to get everything up and running. And I have an idea for the Crucible. And as soon as I say it, you're gonna face Palm, because it's not a good idea. But, remember that upgrade that makes Zergling not cost any biomass? Well, I was thinking, because a couple people in the comments were calling me an idiot for thinking that it was a good upgrade. I'm gonna try to do the Crucible Zerglings only, utilizing that upgrade. And I think that it's going to be an absolute one-sided stomp in my favor. Because we will be able to compare it directly to how difficult the Crucible Zerglings Only was in Zerglings Only. Which was uh, by far and away the hardest mission. It was miserable. It took hours and hours and hours and hours. And I lost like, what, 19,000 Zerglings over the span of those hours? It was the worst. <laughs> And I think that uh, I think that this upgrade will actually make it really easy. So I'm I'm calling people's bets. I'm calling out the people that were jerks in the chat or in the comments. They were calling me dumb. Okay. Oh, hello, little Quilgor. But until then, we have to get our stuff going. I haven't even looked at the upgrades for the mutas yet. We have to. We're gonna clear every single Quilgor. Why is there another base here? We're going to clear every single Quilgore just so I can get all the biomass on the map. It's going to be delicious. And the uh, our Toastalopes and Tastalopes are the really hard ones because they're... You just train yourself for like a decade to not look at those little guys and now we have to kill them. I was actually thinking, and I'd be interested in hearing people's opinions on this. Do you think that it would be a decent idea to have these little guys show up as the white squares on the minimap? Like... I don't have to explain what the white squares are. They show up quite a bit for various different things. Kind of like this. Like these little guys, like the resource things. Uh, I don't know how easy that is to do in the editor, but I wouldn't be against it personally. Because right now it is, uh, it can be very hard to see the dudes. And it wouldn't be like blinking in your face or something. It wouldn't be crazy, crazy. But I think it'd be a little bit helpful. Primal essence pool, strong sequences. All right, let's take a look at what we got for the Mutas. Mutalist devours two biomass and gains 50 health, two armor, two flat damage, four damage bonus against light units. Biomass is permanently lost on consumption. Or Mutas gain 15% damage against biological. Furthermore, the attacks apply a debuff to slow the enemy movement at attack speed. Debuff does not stack and is applied for five seconds, only to the primary target. Huh. But I like my biomass. <laughs> I, I don't want to spend it. <laughs> I, I'm collecting it. I do the same thing with biomass that people do with, like, Funko Pops. I just... I never take them out of the box because it ruins their value. I just want it to be... Uh, have a giant shelf of it. Okay, we're going to blast our way through all these guys first. I think we're going to go Ling Muta Queen. 
And we're gonna have to check if the hot oh, little crab guys do. Look at that. Oh, do you have biomass? No. We got a crab friend. The pinnacle of evolution. Ah, Wilgors. All right, we're getting upgrades. We're getting upgrades. Get a couple guys on gas. Get a couple guys over here, and yeah, it's gonna be nice and not die. -y. That's the that's the plan here. Oh gosh, there's so many little guys. It's great. Well, they run away so quick. Are you a food? Wait, are you a food? Hey, they are a food. I'm feeling pretty good. I think that we're doing very nicely. I'm up to 305 biomass. Which means that I could only upgrade 150 of these Zergling, or of these uh, Mutas. Which would truly be a bad value. Get some overlords. Oh, wait. We gotta be getting these overlord upgrades. Our forces can intercept their raiding parties. Yeah. Brax forces are destroying Quilgore biomass. Oh, sorry, bud. You come this way. Target stuff down. I I gotta say, the circlings are very, very quick to destroy, and I do appreciate it. Right, we're going to be a little bit careful here. I did just realize that we lost the opportunity for a little bit of biomass because we decided to let Brack... No, oh, Broken Horn! Oh, we got to rebuild him. He's very important. I didn't have my queens in position. I was trying to wait, but we just don't have the healing potential available yet, so we got to get more queens. Look, the stalker for three seconds, why not? I mean, those stalkers are never going to die, right? One thing that's concerning me a little bit is Brack himself. That's going to be a hard fight. I guess that's what the Mutas are for. But even the Mutas, uh, he does big area damage. We could definitely take some serious heat from Brack. I keep forgetting I have Inject, and I should be using it. You. Inject. You. Inject. I probably want some actual fresh queens to do the injecting, but, you know, whatever. We'll come to that bridge when we reach it. There we go. Queen, fresh, queen, fresh. We can do injects now. We're going to get a lot of mutas, and then let's start surfing around the map. Trying to grab various areas that we can inject. Oh, you know what? Brack is going to be a lot easier if... We get Hydras to help out for the armor shred. That's a pretty good idea. Brax They're over here. Are destroying biomass. Okay, Venomous Glaive Worm. And the bonus versus biological is going to be fantastic against these. Uh, everything's biological on this planet. So, yeah, that's going to be really nice. So yeah, I think that these mutas probably can just hunt all the Quilgore on their own. As long as we come back to heal up with the queens every once in a while, should be fine. It's going to make life a little bit easier for Brack and friends, but that's okay. Get these upgrades. I don't really have a use for this larva that I'm injecting for. This is interesting now that I think about it, is because every unit is so expensive, we don't actually have that good of a use for our larva. <laughs> it is nice to have inject, though. I do appreciate it. But, uh... I'm not really in a good place to do it because I don't want to build infinite zerglings yet. This next mission. And it will work fine, don't worry. Ooh. The Guardians hit surprisingly hard against air. I'll be honest, I have to be reminded every single time that the Guardians can hit air because it's so weird. It's just not how, it's not how Guardian do, you know? Oh gosh. The Brutal AI is really good at targeting down those weakened guys. Okay, let's 
Let's uh, head on over here, take this down. Okay, we killed all those biomasses, so we're not losing them. There's so many critters on this mission. This is crazy. Oh, I guess we're killing these. I want to be flanked. I'm not sure the Venomous Glaive is necessarily worth getting as many of them as I am. I think that I'm going to hold off for a bit and just... But then again, they cost more minerals than gas, so they do help with economic balancing. Which is interesting. Because usually I would want to be spamming Zerglings or something here, but I'm really just on the reconstitute what I have and don't make any more. Okay, let's get a little bit of gas, a little bit of gas. And I guess we can head over here. And it doesn't really matter that the Zerglings die, as long as the reconstitution happens. We just gotta give it time. The only time we have to be careful with it is when we are facing off against Brack. Because obviously the mission is gonna end before they have the ability to revive in that case. The Broken Horn almost died. I guess that's the other way, is we have to make sure that Broken Horn is... There's enough tanking for him. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I love this. I can't click him. Stop crabbing so fast. Uh. I feel like I'm getting such value. Gonna spread the creep this way and every other way. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then we can get this is our sixth, and that'll be all seven. But I do want to blow the rest of these up. So what we're going to do is we're going to chill out, we're going to wait for a sealing attempt. And then after the seal happens, we are going to try to start grabbing these one at a time, nice and safe-like. There we go. Beautiful. Just like you. Mow them down. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right, you just go out. Drones go this way, and why don't we start with this one first? Ah, nope, nope, nope. Those areas are scary. Oh, uh, that looks like an attack wave that I can clear up, though. There's a good position for that. Slow them down. Oh, so scary. I come over and defend this guy. Don't want anything to go wrong on that side. Wait, can we get the bonus with just the flyers? Because we don't have a Kerrigan to pick it up. I wonder if it has to be ground units or if air is fine. Okay, that's all going down pretty well. Yeah, this has been a smooth mission. Now nah, it looks like we gotta send a ground unit. That's, uh, that's fair. What ground unit can we send? I guess that's kind of what you exist for, right? Ah, we actually have to fight our way through this, don't we? I think that might be a ceiling wave, or it may have been part of this group over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's just reconstituted Zerglings. It's fine. Don't worry. Thought that was real bad for a moment. Uh, let's see. Hey, perfect position for a ceiling wave. Love to seal it. Or love to see it. So, maybe we send... I guess we could just send a drone from over here. I'll be fine. We're slow and steady. It's one of my best qualities. My teachers always said I was slow. And I'm proud of it. Let's get some carapace and some uh, jagged spines. And then we gotta get this gas upgrade so I can upgrade my spines. 
But not the crawlers. Just the jagged. It's interesting there's a base here and it's, I mean, it's not that, it's, it seems like a really scary base to take. It's very far away from everything else. So I'm not that enthralled by it. Okay. I'm gonna grab this one now. And then we'll send up a little helper guy. The old Queen of Blades was much more active than you. Shut up, Isha. What did I do? Silence, Isha. I know what I'm doing. Why are you such a jerk face? I mean, she's observing, right? Like, she's doing her best. We're going to give her Overlord's movement speed bonus so that uh, they can see... Or, uh, movement speed and sight range so they can see really far away. Now she's doing a lot. She's spotting. It's just that the old Queen of Blades didn't understand that vision is the most important thing, Zagara. Our drone is under attack. We should provide escorts so it can return the biomass safely. Ooh, hello. Um... Let's see, bro, all you guys, just make sure that we don't lose too much there. Mutas are going to come over and help us not die. Burrow, burrow. Broodlings are doing their best. A bird guy somewhere here. <laughs> Very well cloaked. Primal forces are attacking Quilgore biomass. Pull this back and save the biomass. We have Think we're doing good? The biomass needed to awaken the ancient. Okay, we got this and this to get some biomass from. I think we're going to have like 400 biomass at the end of this mission. Obviously, we're not getting any from like rescuing units, but we've killed so many. We haven't killed that many Fulgore. They're only giving one apiece. And honestly, the creep killing is way harder than I thought it would be. Why is it shooting sideways? <laughs> the primal hive is just doing his own thing. Okay, we've done almost all the hard stuff here. Now we can pull back. Have you harvest from him? No! Don't eat him! Well, I didn't mean to do that. I just sent that guy to his doom. Right, how do we want to approach Brack? Probably with spines, right? Spines seem like a very good tanking mechanism to face him with. Ooh, those guardians. They all target fired a single guy right there. But here, a little bit there. Yeah, that's what we want. Little stalker friends helping out. Dodging some shots. I wonder if I get additional biomass for, uh saving the biomass. I doubt it. But I'm also willing to try to save it. Okay, get over here. This guy, he's got no life. Hydras go down first. Oh, no, no, no. Leave the queen alone. Okay. Usually Brack is pretty not bad until you don't have Kerrigan. If you've ever done this without Kerrigan, it's always awful. <laughs> See how it goes? Harvest additional meat. What? How do you want me to do that? Brack is coming. Oh, maybe he's not. Okay. I mean, if he's just going to be on patrol, I'll get that extra meat. That's going to be kind of boring, but you got to do what you got to do, right? We're in it to win it. I don't want to attack in there with Brack, though. This area is monstrous. 
I hope that if we harvest all the rest, he gets mad and comes for me. Otherwise, things are going to just be... Ugh. Not how we want to play it. A couple tumors. Tumors this way. I have no money. Took out a couple of the guys from over there earlier, so they were pretty easy. More mutas. And then we're going to want to... Vicious Glaive Worm. <laughs> Keep grabbing this stuff. There's so many Dahakas on this map. How many times does he actually show up? It's like four or five. Maybe that... Okay, I understand the reasoning for this base now. That I see... It's in, The mission is intended to go way longer than normal. Makes perfect sense that this is available. I still don't want it. <laughs> I don't... I... You're going to attack from a weird angle and it's going to hurt. I don't want that. We're just going to burrow a drone over here. And then we have four drones on this side, which is one, two, three, four. Sounds good to me. Nothing stands in the way of the swarm. Oh, wait. It didn't send anybody, did it? Can we, we can just harvest? Is that how it goes? Oh, those are living quill gore. Gotta be careful. Alright, we're gonna give that uh, hypothesis a try. That'll speed things up quite a... Quite a doozy. Also, Broken Horn is dead. We probably want him back. I don't know if it matters. Like, if... Is under attack by Brax forces. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's sending a lot. I think that was all. The so he does send the defense waves, but they aren't coming from the sides like they normally do. They kind of came from his base. I don't think that's normal. I think that's a little bit off, but. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's because these triggers had to be written by the mod maker instead of being part of the in-game thing. Interesting. Uh, we only lost one drone during all of that. Which is fine. Bring these over here. A lot of mutas to help on this side. Don't know what this Hydra's story is. Oh, I didn't mean to bring two of them over here. One of this guy over here. Oh! <laughs> What a weird little movement we had to do right there. Okay, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be fine. Uh, Broken Horn, we want you burrowed. Zerglings in general, we want you burrowed because you're gonna die if you try to fight Brack. Everybody else is gonna pull back. Gotta have a nice little force over here to deal with this. The Guardians have been doing a really good job at all target firing one thing and blowing it out of the water. And here I thought you primals were going to be a challenge. Your empty minions are no match for the might of the Let's get the energy upgrade. Uh, more vicious glaive worms. Here he comes. The big boy. Now, there is a chance that he decides to attack on uh, this other side, and it, we're going to have to reposition very quickly if he does that. So we have these uprooted, these over here, and we will see in a moment where he decides to go. It's almost always down. Yeah. Everybody on the other side. Spines may die. I'm okay with it. Everyone target Brack. Oh no. Well, that actually wasn't that bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, most of them got out. It was only like seven. 
Oh, but that was that was really close. <laughs> he does so much damage. So we were at about 300 biomass at the beginning of this mission. I'm interested to see where we ended up. I think we're positive. I think. I Welcome back, friend. 440, almost increased by 50%. All right, I am very happy with that. Let's go see if we have any Kerrigan upgrades or anything like that so we can prepare for the next mission, which uh, we're going to have to get some Zergling upgrades as well. So let's uh, give it a look-see. We got Rapid Regeneration, we have Bonus versus Armored, and we have the Bounce Bounces more Bouncy. I feel like Rapid Regeneration is incredible, just because I don't want to lose them. And then because we're going big Zergling energy, we want Attack Speed, and... Your power level has increased. We want Efficient Spawning and Zerg Melee level 1. Oh, next mission's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace!